Uh, brothers, brothers, let me make something. Let me make two things uh, explicitly clear tonight. One, wait a sec. <laughs> Chronic's got good mead and will be getting fucked up tonight. You want that to occur sooner. Hit me up. Hit me up on the cash app. I got Vikings blood, not blood, blood. One O for you heathens. Though I give multiple O's to the bitches that come to my place. Vikings blood, 19%. Didn't think they'd make a mean 19%, but here we are. And two. This will be a short stream, but before we begin, I need to drink a little bit more. Here is Brothers of Metal, the Mead Song. Second. Wait one goddamn heathen pagan second. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. Mm. Let's get it from the top. Let's do it. Let's do it the right way. <coughs> mm. 
Hello, 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 and uh, welcome to the 320th episode of the UCW Show. Check the title. <laughs> it is too late for Western women. Let me put down the gain on this mic, Brutus. I'm a little bit rowdy. Here we go. I'm a bit rowdy tonight, and we need to ensure the hymens of, or the ear hymens, a.k.a. tympanic membranes of our headphone-wielding Brutus. How are you guys doing today? Mead, another drink and party. All hail under Chronic. What's up, Darth Malgus? Chronic just killed my first legendary Skyrim, legendary dragon, in Skyrim at level 78. Oh, hell yes. Muscular Alligator says, what's good, Warband? 07, God bless you, Pastor Chronic. I was going to do a sermon today, but I was, uh, uh, I was tied up in some people. So I wasn't going to do a sermon on those days where I get tied up in people. And I just got home late. What we got here? Find MGTOW brothers. No marriage, no cohabitation, no kids, says King B. I wonder if bees like mead. Well, I know bees like mead. Whenever I drank mead at my friend's mead bar, the bees would buzz around. They'd land on you. They'd drink the spilled mead. You know, I'd put out some honey. They'd be laying on the honey, eating that bitch up. Oh, it's a good one. What's the mead taste like on the chronic? Well, it's not a special mead. It's a mead from a big box store. Vikings Blood from uh, Dansk, Dansk Mod, M-J-O-D, I, I, don't, I don't speak fucking Swedish, guys, uh, here, based on a recipe from the year 1700, Viking Blood, uh, Nordic honey wine with dried hibiscus and ginger added, that's what I'm drinking, well, I mean, that's the big one, you guys want to hear the story, let's read the story. When drinking mead, you are drinking 5,000 years of preserved history. Mead is one of the few things that allows us to get in touch with the time when life was lived on nature's terms. Our products are based upon a recipe from the year 1700. The ingredients are pure and 100% natural bullshit. Uh, guaranteed from additives. I'm, I'm not sure about that. Honey is the major and most important ingredient in the recipe, free from gluten and lactose. There's no gluten in honey? Really? There's no plant protein in honey products? There's no wheat protein in honey products? Well, I'd be damned. In lactose? Wait, you're telling me there's not milk sugars in, in, in insect honey? I'm shocked. I'm so shocked. To create Viking blood, we have combined the traditional recipe with dried hibiscus and ginger. In addition to the color, this adds a spicy, aromatic, floral taste. Serving suggestions. Serve slightly chilled, as in aperitif at room temperature, as a excellent dessert, or warm as the mold honey wine. For more serving suggestions, well, I'm drinking this whole damn bottle tonight, so it's, it's warm. It's warm. Hibiscus. That's why I picked it up. I didn't even know it was 19%. The gatekeeper, Lego Mago, says, Chronic, what's with the Lebanese 304 harassing and hating its tomboys on Twitter? Um, hmm. I haven't really, I saw images and clips of the dumb, you know what, talking about tomboy, some Lebanese lesbian. Yeah, I don't care. Um, I guess I should cover it at some time, but not tonight. Not tonight. I'm getting foolish tonight. We're drinking me tonight. I am uh, going hard. Downtrodden said, isn't honey pure sucrose? No. And first of all, sucrose is not a milk sugar. You can find some sucrose in milk, yes, but it's not a milk-specific sugar, unlike lactose. I guess you could say some bacteria will produce lactose, but that's such a nitpicky argument. I'm not gonna let. I'm not gonna hear it. King Bee says funny stories about bees. The Romans had their bees harvest honey from poison ivy and fed the honey of the ivy to their enemies. That is effed up. That's hilarious. I wonder if they make mead out of that. Okay. Post not clarity says we're getting drunk tonight. I'll walk next door and get a drink. Uh, let's see here. Bee vomit. Now hold on. Honey is plant sugars processed through a bee. LOL. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pollen processed through a bee. Oh, what are we starting on? Oh, let me fucking do 
goddamn segments where I get too hammered. I, I'm already a little bit uh, inspired. I'm already just a little bit inspired right now. But before we start, before we begin, if you want to support the show, if you want to support Undead Chronic, consider donating to Cash App dot Cash Sign Undead Chronic. That's Cash App dot Cash Sign Undead Chronic. The link is pinned. If you want Chronic to chug a glass of this twenty percent mead, send me twenty bucks and say mead or chug or Valhalla or another or whatever the hell you want to do. Yeah, yeah, just send it in the super chat, twenty bucks. I'll chug that bitch. Okay, what we got here? Would a shot of alcohol soothe my itchy cough? Uh, probably not, but can't can't hurt. Can't hurt really. We got this Reddit story. I got this Reddit story. I got this. Oh, I got three good Reddit stories. All different kind of cuckolds <laughs> up on Reddit. Ooh, but this one's amazing. I'm going to do the amazing one first while I'm still a little bit. Uh, coherent because this is quite the uh, spicy story to say the least. The story is a bit spicy. I need to wash my mead down or something. Come here, White Claw. Come here, you sweet white girl drink. Hit me with those no carbs. 70 calories. I need to wash down the mead with Seitzer Vodka. Uh, beautiful. You see, the professionals always have three drinks open. I told Ribby this. He agreed. You got your strong drink. You got a beer to casually sip on. Then you got a white claw or like a Mike Tart or some shit to chase with a strong drink. Although the mead isn't too strong. Um, if I keep tasting it in my, if I keep tasting the meat in my throat after I drink it, I'm going to want to pour another one and drink it. And we all know how uh, Agriga gets when he gets a little bit too sauced on the good good. You feel? You feel? Okay. Let's get to the first story. Okay, what we got here? Uh, I just got to confirm there's no pictures of fat feminists. I okay, know I work out here. There we go. Close this boy up. Perfecto. Texas man who told wife, quote, you're going to meet Jesus, unquote, before pulling the trigger three times. I added that. Gets 10 years in prison. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Let's get into this. I'm not going to show you the video, but the video is this, you know, old boomer dude with a shotgun. He's like, you're going to meet Jesus. And then you hear the shotgun shoot three times before the, the video cuts. The distressing scene unfolded as the wife held a camera and her husband held a shotgun. The jury didn't think the man who pled guilty should serve the maximum penalty. And this is a very interesting story. You guys are probably going to be thinking some thoughts not allowed on YouTube. Please, please keep it calm in the comment section. Harris County, Texas, an all-woman jury. What? <laughs> an all-woman jury, which is rare but can happen, sentenced a Texas man to 10 years in prison for the murder of his wife after being shown a video of the shooting. Now, the couple's daughter is finding the strength to tell her mother's story. Yeah, the mom was a cheating skank. The mom was a cheating skank. And she was going to divorce the husband. And the husband, you know, he, he put on a hockey mask. I don't condone it. You shouldn't. Yeah. Big surprise. I don't think you should shoot people. I know. Sue me, YouTube, for um, oppressing the voices of black and brown people for saying you shouldn't shoot people at uh, whatever. I don't think you should shoot people. Now the couple is finding, now the daughter is telling her strength. The daughter says, all right, goodbye. You're going to meet Jesus. Carrie Birmingham told his wife, Patricia Birmingham, bro, if you ever marry a bitch named Patricia, 
I expect to see you on the news in 20 years. So the next time, some of you guys are fooling around with chicks right now named Patricia. I'm just letting you know ahead of time. Make sure you at least fit the orange jumpsuit because those chicks will drive you crazy. So he shot Patricia before he shot her with okay. He shot her with a gun outside their home in spring. In the video, Carrie can be heard firing his gun three times. I hope it was worth it, he said. The shooting happened while the couple's couple's daughter, Olivia, was at school. I lost both my parents that day. My dad died that day too, because the person who did that to my mom and my father aren't the same person. Olivia said, okay, well, how about your mom when she's sleeping around? Hey, how about your mom when she's cheating on your dad? You know, when she's spreading those legs open for any day laborer who can get it up? Hmm? Is she still your mom then? Of course she is. You see, Western women, they never disown female family members for cheating. They must always empower women. So, I'm sorry, um, Carrie, but if your daughter Olivia knew her mother was cheating, and she says, oh, well, she, my mom didn't die that day. You know, it, it, she's fine with it. She wouldn't be saying her mom died the day she cheated on her dad. No, they don't. Why? Because these women are telling you they are the daughters of whores. The daughters of whores, they're going to be hoes too. What? Why is this right? Anytime a woman accepts a family member, a female family member in her house cheating, she's telling you, I'm the daughter of a hoe and I'm ready to start my hoe journey. Same thing goes for guys. You know, if a dude's okay with his dad cheating on his mom, he's probably destined to live the life of a fuckboy with herpes. So, she says, Patricia and Carrie had a roughly 30-minute argument leading up to the shooting. Audio obtained by ABC 13 contains several minutes before the video that became a large part of Carrie's crime of passion defense. I am effing done, he said. I am effing done too, Patricia replied. The two's argument, which was sparked, oh, okay, by Carrie's allegedly. What do you mean allegedly? It's what he told the court. I'm going to change this uh, language because it's extremely feminized. Feminist, feminist, feminized, cucked, whatever you want to say. The two's argument, which was sparked by Carrie learning of his whore wife's affair. Let me say that again. Carrie learning about his whore wife's affair became more and more heated. Yeah, no shit. No, you find out your wife is cheating on you. She says, I'm effing done. I want a divorce. I'm taking Olivia. I'm taking a shit. Yeah. yeah some dudes are not going to take that stress well. And they're going to go click, clack, boom. That's just what happens. I don't, I don't know what to say, guys. That's just what happens. They go click, clack, boom. They get pissed off. Carrie's defense attorney, Anthony, also said they pleaded guilty directly to an all-female jury. Please, woman, please, please don't kill me. He said their strategy was to accept responsibility but convince jurors that Carrie shot Patricia in the heat of the moment. We never tried to justify the actions of our client, but the defense wasn't about justification. It was about why he did what he did. Also said, yeah, hey, you find out your wife's cheating on you, and then she starts cussing at you. Yeah, you're probably going to be very pissed off. But Olivia said she finds her father's defense questionable at best. Yeah, because you, because you're, because Olivia is hoe in training. Your wife was a hoe. Your daughter's a hoe. Story as old as time. Hoes make hoes. Hoes make hoes that make hoes who make hoes that make hoes. You want to find a hoe? Look up single mothers in your area. 40-year-old single mothers in your area, you're going to find some hoe shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want a young hoe? Find a single mother who's 32 that got pregnant at 14. Guess what? Uh, oh, yeah, her daughter's 18. There you go. Find you a hoe. If you want hoes, find a single mother. If you want incognito hoes, find the daughter of a woman who cheats on her husband. They all hoes, okay? Let me make it clear. She says, no matter what was said in this trial, you know what type of woman she was. And you know what she did and how he took away my favorite person in the world. She said, your favorite person in the world is a hoe? <laughs> your favorite person in the world was a hoe. Okay. 
Olivia testified that she had never witnessed her father physically abusing her mom, but she wanted to, quote unquote, raise awareness, unquote, that there are different types of abuse her mother experienced, including emotional abuse and financial abuse. Oh, oh, so the so the hoe that was cheating on her husband was getting abused because she didn't get her husband's wallet. And now I'm supposed to feel bad that that hoe is worm meat. No. I don't feel bad that the war, that the hoe is worm me. I feel bad that the hoe was allowed to raise another hoe. She said that while she still loves her father, she can never forgive him. Well, hopefully he, you know, hopefully once he gets out of jail off of good behavior in five years, he fucks off to Thailand because American women are horrible. American women are liquid garbage. American women are an STD that you cannot cure. It is a disease that grips your bones. It is a disease that stops you from getting bones into other chicks. Okay? American women are liquid garbage. I don't even I don't see them as human. They are feminist pigs. Oh, hey, Mr. Ante Chronic. I fucked 80 people in two years. You want to get me? I'm 20 years old. This pussy's still tight. Get out of my face. Ah, uh, need to put on a biohazard suit just to go to get some booze. Ugh. 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 If you want to support the channel, consider donating to Cash App. Cash Sign Under Chronic. That's Cash App. Cash Sign Under Chronic. The link is pinned. Ugh, man, fuck those hoes. Mm. Anyhow, anyhow, we're back to the stream. We're back to the show. That was hilarious. Financial abuse. <laughs> Financial abuse. Disgusting. The boots of banishment. Chronic needs to raid Hammerhand. I'm too busy drinking, bro. I can't be managing any kind of raid right now. I apologize. I apologize. I ain't gonna be raiding shit, though. I ain't gonna be raiding shit. Let's check the cash up. I think you got a super chat. I hope this guy isn't gonna. We'll find out shortly. I'm not sure I can handle much more liquor in my current disposition. Okay. Broad says I'm ready. No, I don't think I'm going to read that, bro, but you sent a 20. Um, so I guess I'm going to give you a cheers and chug. Okay. <sighs> Who the... Thank you, Broderick, for your generous super chat donation. I gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta do some ASMR up in this bitch. Mm. How's the audio? Is it shit? Hope it's not shit. Say, man, be like, you gotta stop cussing on the chronic. That's like telling the chronic to stop drinking, smoking, and whoring. I mean, yeah, I, I should stop. I am stopping. But on these streams, though, when I'm drinking that good, good, you know, I'm gonna do my thing, though, bro. <laughs> I know why, bro. It's because I smoked an entire blunt. I've been on a tea break. I've been on a tea break for three weeks, and this blunt was like 2.5 G's of that Arctic Kush. Close my eyes. I'm next to a goddamn penguin, and he's passing me the blunt. He says, smoke this shit, Grigga, the freshest Arctic Kush on the entire glacier. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, yes, indeed. Cheers, Broderick Black. Thank you for your generous Super Chat donation. Definitely not easy sipping mead. Damn, does it taste good. Broderick Black says the sweet sound of pouring liquor. You know, Broderick, you've been around for a bit. I trust you're not going to abuse the powers of the ranch. Let me give you ranch, bro. Add his moderator. Standard moderator. Broderick, you got to defend from all the people that want to come in here and spam the N-word. They come in every, every now and then, bro. You are one of the 
Broderick. Broderick Black. I pronounce you general of the token division. <laughs> Defend the name of the warband. Scream at anybody who attacks us that they're racist. You have a holy mission. I trust you will see it to its end. <laughs> oh, what we got in the chat? We got some Reddit cucks. We go over Reddit cucks. Wait, was the audio fine? I gotta find the audio. Let's see. Oh, uh, audio is good. It's a successful endeavors. I'm gonna roll with that answer. I'm gonna roll with that answer. Dr. Fourth Wall says, uh, do, do haters actually spam the N-word in here? Well, they can't type it out, but they'll spell it out individually, like an acrostic, just to get the channel banned. What do we have? Jim Power says, we got N-word spammers. They come in every now and then. TFM, same on life. Five years ago, says King B. Steve, the MC, says, man, just got knighted. Okay. Do I want to? Let me, let, me, let me go ask a Grigga. I feel like I need a Grigga to join me to keep me stabilized. Uh, uh, let's see here. Now, now you're a single mom. Oh, yeah, Yidus. <laughs> He's a single. He dropped a song here. Uh, I don't know if anybody's uh, up and about, though. I think all the Warband members are being useful members of society. Yeah, I think they're... And yeah, if a Warband member wants on, just, you guys just got to let me know. Shit, uh oh Night, says for no reason. Broad says, Broad Black says, I would send more, but I got to make the pay cut. Bro, stop sending me money, bro. You sent me a shit ton of money. He says, I need to make the payout. I need to fix the roof. At least now I can get good sleep with the rain coming down. Bro, do. Warband commandment 10,420. If your roof is broke, you aren't allowed to donate to Undead Chronic. How about that? Yeah. Don't, don't, don't be like, I'm sorry, I couldn't give you more shekels, bro. No, no, no. You could give me two bucks, I'd be happy, bro. Ain't no, uh, ain't no limit on what I shout out here. We got here. We got another super chat. It's just gonna take a second to load, though. Musky Alligator says, cheers, Grigga. Well, for a five piece, I'll, uh, I'll chug some of this blue milk. I won't chug the whole thing, but I'll. Cheers. 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 What do we got here? Snorting Sturlson said that people who live to see Ragnarok would wish they were dead. Yes. Only Chronic, I got you for the Palestinian representation. Jim Power, you're a Palestinian? Did I ever tell you guys, like, during the Palestinian Israeli protests in my college, how I would choose sides? I look at the Palestinian side, and I look at the Israeli sign and the side with the most chicks I wanted to bang and go protest and most of the times it was for the pro Palestinians to so go over there be like fuck Israel fuck Israel but sometimes I'd see the Israeli chicks I'm like mm, there's some pretty hot Jewish girls over there I go over there like fuck Palestine fuck Palestine and one of them actually caught me switching sides they're like hey weren't you the last one <laughs> weren't you saying fuck Israel and now you're out here saying fuck Palestine I'm like I'm just trying to get some puniti, bro. Why? Why do you guys? What do you guys expect? Why do you guys expect Undead Chronic to care about your little tribal turf war? <laughs> Wait a second. I'm white. I don't have to care about tribal struggles between primitive peoples. <laughs> but Jim Power, he's part of the warband. You're not a primitive person. You are a Warband warrior, but these randos up in Palestine, up in Gaza, these randos up on the Strip, these random settlers, these Hasidic Jews coming out there, be like, "This is my land now." Man, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm just living in the U.S. trying to get some puniti. Okay, okay, cool. Glad we could clear that up. Uh, let's see here. Saxo Knight says Jenner doesn't like MGTOW. Make a reaction video. I think I made one of his. I already made a reaction video. Just go through the catalog, bro. I literally made a reaction video, and I had a debate with him. So, yeah. 
Not a chronic. I get so heated when you simp for Israeli women, says Jim Power. Well, I'm sorry, bro. Those big, I want them. I want that Druniti, that dreidel Puniti. You feel me, bro? The Burman says it's cringe. It's no one's land. No, it's the Crusaders' land. And once a Crusader state forms, I will support them. That's whose land it is. Rod says, hey, Chronic, Roof is a project a contractor wants me to help him work on for a payout coming. I'll join the show if you're going to be co-host on weekends. Yeah, dude, we'll talk about it. No, we'll talk about this offline, man. If you get a big payout, I'll, I'll, set, I'll show you what kind of equipment would help you um, would help you make content. Don't just give it to me because some of it's expensive. Okay, what we got here? No question that Palestinian girls are better looking. Well, I mean. It's like all groups of girls. There's some hot ones, some ugly ones. American uh, women, though, they're kind of disgusting on a spiritual level, in my opinion. I kind of, yeah. I won't, I won't give them any quarter. I'll give quarters to the Jewish chicks, though. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! <laughs> oh, oh man! Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> I, you know, I can support Jewish women and still get a strike for anti-Semitism. So who cares? Chronic. Whose idea was it to put the Macedon song in the intro? Was it yours? All the songs are chosen by me, guys. Every single one. So yeah, they're pretty dope. I like I like some heart. I like some metal. You know, I like some rock and roll. Just got to be in the mood for it. What's the next thing we're going to do? She got hamster. She's targeting you next. Who is this bitch? Miss Elite Forever. Hamster is a huge incel. The next future live stream. I think it's time to visit Undead. Okay, I'll just ban her. <laughs> I'll just ban her for being a racist. We all know Miss Elite is a racist that wants Palestine to be genocided. She openly says this. She's a racist. She's a homophobe. She's a transphobe. She's a bigot. So she comes up in this chat and she says any racist shit, homophobic shit, transphobic shit, we all need to come together and take the time to write a report. And if YouTube gets 300 reports on her racist, transphobic, homophobic comments, she'll lose her whole channel. So just make sure. What do we got here? Shall we move forward? Shall we continue? Let's continue. I feel the urge to drink something before we do the next segment, though. So uh, let me wait. Let me sip on this. Oh, that mead is staring at me. I hope I don't have to chuck it. Well, nah, it's a big amount. I'll chug the rest of that for the next 20. Let's get this started. Oh, you guys love this one. Hold the press. Stop the printers. Stop the rubber factory. Stop the delivery driver driving those rubbers to the CVS. Stop the hobo who's shoplifting the rubbers at the CVS. Stop the hobo's Facebook account where he's selling these rubbers. Stop it. Stop all of it. We have breaking news. Monogamy is dead. It's dead. From Reddit itself, from a uh, user titled Essex910. Essex. Essex. Essex has always been Wessex's bitch, throughout English history at least. What do y'all believe? 
do you believe it's still possible to maintain a solely, completely long-term monogamous relationship in today's day and age? What kind of women feel like monogamy is dead? The women who get their uteruses stretched out by Chad and Tyrone. They, they cannot, they can, well, they don't see men under six foot as human. They don't see men they aren't attracted to as human. And so when the men they are attracted to pump and dump these chicks ruthlessly. I'm talking about pumping her in the car, telling her you're going to get a Sonic ice cream and dropping her off in front of the sorority house, saying you'll be back, you just got to get some gas, and then blocking her number. Yeah, that's how Grigas used to roll back in college. They think that monogamy is impossible. They can't imagine being committed to a man who's five foot four. They can't imagine being committed to a man that's not white. They can't imagine being committed to a man that can't bench two plates. They can't. And so these women, these community zinc socks, these frat mattresses, the street walkers, the public street meat, you know, like street vendor food, street vendor chopped crab meat. That's what these chicks punitis be looking like at the end of the day. When they think that they want love and they want to be a princess, they're trying to have a gangster treat them like a princess. You some dumb, left-sided brain looking, really right-sided brain, fool. Okay? She says, I've seen so many stories of people who have been cheated on or have cheated. The other day, I found out there's a sub specifically for cheaters, which I think is wild. Yeah, it is a sub for cucks. Actually, every sub is a sub for cucks, isn't it? Just Reddit is a cuckold website. There's a sub for cuckolds. There's a sub for DDLG. I'm not going to get into that. There's a sub for violent group activity stuff. Consensual non-consent. Yeah, that's what they call it. But your surprise is a sub for cheaters. Okay. I could be wrong, but I feel like there are way more attractive women in the world than there are men. Congratulations. You're a lesbian. Nothing wrong with that. Why? Okay. Why do you think this genius is so many more attractive women than men? And I think that's because women are more likely to get work done. Surgery. Wait, wait, wait. So you think surgery makes women attractive? Surgery is the surgery is the public defacement of God's temple. And you think it makes you more attractive? Oh, hell no. Brazilian butt lifts? Fake breasts? Nose jobs? All this stuff. Mm, makes it worse for me. Do you think this is creating more of an urge slash temptation in men as they are surrounded by more attractive women wearing revealing clothes on a daily basis? I live in Miami, so I say this with a grain of salt because I know it's not it's everywhere. No, no, no. The men, you, when you say, do you think there's an urge in men? You're not talking about men. You're talking about men you are sexually attracted to. Men you are sexually attracted to are human. Men that you're not sexually attracted to, they don't exist in your brain. They're not even worth a thought. Not even a mirror neuron. So let's talk about Chad and Tyrone. Do you think Chad and Tyrone have an urge to cheat on me even though I'm a queen? You're not a queen. You're the flavor of the day. You're the flavor of the hour. Of course they're going to cheat on you. Women who associate with Chad and Tyrone deserve to be cheated on. They let themselves get cheated on. They step over their looks max to get Chad Schlong. They disappoint their fathers. They have sex outside wedding. Who else deserves to get cheated on? You know who doesn't get deserve to get cheated on? A virgin at marriage. Who, who marries her looks match. Who marries her high school boyfriend. Yeah, she doesn't deserve to get cheated on. But these hoes out in Miami, bro? These hoes out in Miami? Oh, hell no, bro. No, 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 no. I, I love to see them scream and cry when they get cheated on. Chronic, how could you do this? I thought we were an item. Uh, nah. 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 
From what I've heard from men, they often fantasize, masturbate, and sometimes even imagine during intimacy other women. If you're imagining other women when you're banging a chick, you're basically uh, having mutual masturbation. These women can sometimes be friends, co-workers, their partners, family members, a random person I saw at a gas station or grocery store. But it just seems to me people are constantly looking outwards of their relationship. Now, it seems to you that Chad and Tyrone, the only men you pay attention to, are constantly looking outwards of their relationship and imagining and fantasizing about other people. It's like everyone, <clears throat> it's like Chad and Tyrone thinks the puniti is always tighter on the other side. <laughs> Tad and Tyrone say that Puniti is tighter on the other side, and they're constantly looking and thinking about what the other Puniti is. I'm unfortunately beginning to believe monogamy is just dead. What are your opinions? Please comment whether you're male or female. I would like to know if the answers vary depending on gender. Yeah, you associate with D-bags. You associate with cheaters. You only want Chad and Tyrone. So, of course you're going to have that viewpoint. Let's see if she has any posts, other posts. Hmm. Let's see. I want to get my PhD in psychology. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Oh, you got another oh, I'm going to get PhD in psychology. I am PhD in sociology. I'm gonna to talk to you know actual scientists on how to do science. <laughs> Okay, so she's like, what, 24, 25? Mm, yeah, probably 24, 25. Oh, let me read this. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. This is good. Oh, this is the same person that thinks monogamy is dead. My 28 female. <coughs> oh, man, disgusting. And 28 male boyfriend broke up. As the title says, my boyfriend and I broke up last night. We've been dating for 10 months. This morning, he asked me if I still wanted him to pack his things. I angrily said yes, and he did just that. He just quietly packed his things and left. <gasps> he didn't fight for us. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you fight for me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Daddy, he didn't fight for this loose booty. Why did he not fight for this loose booty? <laughs> oh, he didn't even try to fight or talk to me. He just left. I guess I had hoped he would fight for us, and I feel like I don't have a right to be upset with him for leaving since I was the one who asked him to pack. But I was just hurt when I asked him to pack. Here we go. Hey. Bring it down here, guys. Very serious piece of advice for my young brudas. If your girl ever breaks up with you, like says, we should break up. I think we should break up. We should go our separate ways. Let's take a break. Do not go back from that. Do not go back from that. Don't waste your time. You might be able to fix the issue, you know, get emotional, chase her down, fight for her, and she agrees to stay. She will dump you in the future. It's just going to hurt worse, and you're going to feel stupid. You're going to feel stupid. As soon as she says, I think we need to break up, from that moment, in your heart, it needs to be over. Do not fight for her. She's not yours. She's not yours. Why would you fight for something that's not yours? Would, would you answer the draft to go fight for China's borders? Would you answer the draft to go fight for Palestine's freedom? No. It's not yours. They're not yours. She is not yours. Pack your bag and leave. Very badly hurt. He knows I struggle with reactivity. Okay, so we have an extremely reactive 28-year-old woman who wants to get a PhD in psychology. You guys ever wonder why I don't respect the field of psychology? No, seriously. Whenever someone brings up psychology or sociology or human studies, my initial reaction is to laugh at them. Do you know why? Because psychology is filled with doctor after doctor after doctor of these people. 
extreme reactive. What is it? I think it's called like explosive reactive disorder. But that's medicine. That's not psychology. And I've been so good about it in our relationship. But when I get hurt, I get defensive. And my self-protective mechanism kicks on. And I end up making decisions in the heat of a moment that I regret. Because they don't give me the outcome I wanted. Which I know I shouldn't do. Okay? Sounds like you shouldn't have the freedom to choose whether a relationship ends or not. I mean, honestly, if your overreactions is destroying your love life, wouldn't it be better if you weren't given the power to destroy your love life? I'm just wondering. She says, I'm working on it. I'm just so disappointed he gave up. Just like that. I'm honestly heartbroken. I gave that man everything. <laughs> How many kids did you give him? Hey, you gave that man everything. Why did you kick him out? Why did you break up with him? This is your fault. Like I gave that man everything, and then you broke up with him. I'm not going to say, not nah, baby, I'm fighting for us, because you're going to call the cops. Get the cops to kill me. I'm not about that. I don't care about a bitch that much. I don't care about no bitch, especially not like that. I gave that man everything, all of me. I was patient with him, understanding communicative supported him as much as i could i was thoughtful i took a broken man and gave my all to try to help and support him and in the end he just suddenly walked away after me losing it over mistakes that he made i feel like he never truly loved me or cared about me if he so easily walked away i'm just so heartbroken and sad he didn't love you let me let me take a stand here it is a foolish endeavor to love a feminist it is a foolish endeavor to love an American woman. It is a foolish endeavor to love a non-virgin. It's foolish. You're going to get burned. It's like walking around and just grabbing pots off the stove. Yeah, maybe someone put the pot on the stove to let it dry. But that someday that bitch is going to be hot. You are a head case. You are crazy. You are a goddamn crazy feminist woman. And in today's society, associating with a goddamn crazy feminist woman is a recipe to have the boys in blue put three warning shots in the back of your testicles. Men don't love you because you're not worth loving. In a system where you weren't given the power to destroy men, maybe you would be worth loving. But in the current system, <laughs> where he can make a tweet and ruin my life, where he can call the cops and get me killed, I could deal with a crazy bitch. I can't deal with a crazy bitch that has a group of armed killers at her beck and call. So no, no, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not one to love you. I don't think the men I love that I want the best for, I tell them don't love you. The men who I don't even know that ask for advice, I tell them, don't love women like this. It's for their own safety. If you like this show, if you like this content, consider supporting it at cashapp.cashine under chronic. That's cashapp.cashine under chronic. The link is pinned. Oh, that bitch is crazy. I didn't even know she got broken up with. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's funny. Why would he want someone that doesn't want him, says Gecko? What's up, Gecko? Who's that? Uh, blue, figuratively, literally. Draft. The feminists definitely do them. They're trash. Talk, okay, whatever. Don't forget the crotch rot. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to speed up. i got time for one more segment, I think. I don't think I can get the video, though. Are we up to date on Super Chats? I think we are. Okay, cool. Breaking news. Single woman over 30 hates the dating scene. Yeah, pretty much, man. Mm. Talk about simps. Let's just see how annoying this bitch's voice is. Hey, y'all. Um. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, she ugly. Ugh, she ugly. Gecko Ninja says, what's up, Chronic? Did you get the GIF I sent you? Um, let me look for it. 
Oh, <laughs> oh, the green, um, the green smiling statue. <laughs> I'm gonna use that. That's amazing. <laughs> a true Griga through and through. A true Griga through and through. We got the chat. Oh my God, it's the hamster. Oh my God, what's up, hamster? How you doing, man? Saxo says, Chronic, listen to Black Label Society might be up your alley. Eh. Yeah. I got enough people I listen to. Ruga is the 2016 election hacker released a tell-all book. Okay. I mean, if you guys like democracy, I guess, or <laughs> I guess democracy, republics. If you guys like the institution of voting, sure. I don't, so I don't care. Here's my, hey, y'all. Have a nice day, ma'am. Okay. Uh, what else we got here? In the chat. Raise your eyes, gentlemen. Yeah, she's pretty ugly. BDB says, A plus with the breakup. The breakup was like being handed a final exam with the answer key. Yep. Black Little Society is good. Hail Ginger Hamster. Okay, cool. Oh, we got to deal with this chick, though. Hope it's just a dollar. Oh my god. Oh. Who are you? Which one are you? Who did it? Who did it? Holy shit. Ah, oh, I gotta turn the lights on. Some brigand's going crazy. This brigand. This goddamn brigand. Holy shit. What the? This Grigga really just do that? You got to tell me, guys. Um, I don't want to say your name, but you know who you are. Uh, let me let me give you a code name here. Hmm. Actually, should I use your Cash App name? Red Sky. Red Sky. With a three hundred dollar super chat. Holy shit, dude. If you send me that much money, give me a topic. Like, give me a topic to cover on a video and I'll spend two, three hours on it instead of a stream. I will make a video about the topic you want covered, bro. Holy fuck, dude. Damn. Shit. That's a... Ball dropper. Well, I guess I gotta chug a shit ton of alcohol right now. Okay. Um, I think we can do three glasses of meat at least. We'll see how fucked up I get. To Red Sky, tell me what you need from me, and I will make it. Cheers, Red Sky. Ah, ah, it's some strong shit. I gotta chase it down. My main reason no bitch though. Ugh. 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 Oh man. Ho oh, oh. One down, like a million more to go. I'm gonna take a piss real quick. I'm taking a piss because I gotta drink a whole lot of fucking meat here. So I'll be back after the end of this ad and I'll be back. I'll be doing cheers. Oh man, hope I don't puke. Keep it together, chronic. Your pledge master ain't race no bitch. Maybe I'll uh, take shots when I get back and tell you guys. Um, I'll tell you. Uh, <laughs> tell you some fraternity stories. Let me just play this ad real quick. I'll be back momentarily. Violence is the only way to achieve victory over evil. There are no terms in which the rotting masses with their bloodlust and greed will be satiated. The Pseudomon arrived to these already war-stricken lands and found a banquet of guts and carrion to please their appetites. The gluttonous ways of the rich and the proud rulers led to their people's demise. 
The scum that made their lands weak were just as much to blame as the invaders. Both will fall to the sword. There are no heroes in this story. At least not those who participated in it can recall. But perhaps you can decide for yourselves. A robed figure makes his way through the mott with his mycelium mate. A hooded rider prepares his worthy steed for a perilous journey, while another introduces his to debauchery and the joys of a tavern. In a noble's keep, a necromancer takes his vows of majorhood. I, meanwhile, work the precious monk forge, being watched by my ginger companion. Little did I know at the time, I was to get a weapons order that would change the course of history. Once more unto the breach, my good friends. I just realized I was fucking muted. Sorry, guys. Um, the dog came in. He heard me screaming. Here, here. What I'll do? I'll give you guys some dog. I'll give you some dog pet ASMR. Come here, come here, come here. Oh my god, you big boy, you big boy. Okay, here we go. Got him like a baby. Someone's gonna be. Let's put him in. Someone's gonna be eating really good. I can eat some fresh food with that. Yeah. You want to sniff for the for the boys? You just hear that? I don't know if you guys heard that. He knows he's about to eat really good though. There you go. Get out of here. Come on, get. Or just sit. Whatever you want to do, bro. What's up in the chat? Microphone is kill. Did you give Red a mod? Where is he at? Where is Red? I don't see him in the chat. Where is that guy? Once I see him, I'll give him a mod, but I want to know is what topic he wants me to cover. Post.Clary says the air is more dead than a 40-year-old's eggs. Ooh. Who is this person? R.I.P. Oh, don't rip. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't put him in timeout with saying rip for the microphone. I just forgot to, uh, you know. Sot says I'm timing you up for cringe, being cringe. Sot, don't do that, bro. Don't do that, man. Uh, we've got Mute Cell. Yeah, Mute Cell. Mute Cells rise up. You should collab with Rehab Room. Dude, that guy hates me. I think he's a bitch too, so eh, probably not. Good old Belly Pat's dog. We got a name for the new Warband dog yet? Mm. Wait, let me put him on. Let me put him on this like single bed. Want to get up? Want to get up? Here, here you go. Oh, get up. Here you go. I go sleep. I think I'm gonna name him. Um. Hmm. I've just been calling him Dog. Dog? Yeah, that's, that's what his name right now. Should I keep it or should I change it? Let's see. Um, Green Linux Penguin says, Chronic, Chronic, Chronic. Have you ever thought of making a militia with the larger donations you get? Says Soviet Sage. Bro, you do not want to join Chronic's militia. Chronic's militia is going to basically be like, we got to get ready for the feds, guys. Yeah, we got to get ready with knives. Yeah, we got to practice our knife work. Yeah, okay. But we can't use real knives because we'll get arrested. Okay, um, use these garden shears. Okay, now the way to train with knives 
is to be able to cut in a line, perfect line, perpendicular to the ground. So you guys, I've given you all a bush on my property to cut. Tell me when you've cut it perfectly and we'll go to war. And then you guys cut them up and I'm like, next we need to practice with controlling vehicles. You, war <laughs> member three, grab my lawnmower. <laughs> And then we go to the bar. We wouldn't get any revolution done. We would just get drunk and do yard work. So, yeah. What do we got? Dog. Dog cell. They can always change it to boy. Name him Ch Cujo. <laughs> Name him Chud. <laughs> Name him Chud. I don't think you understand how good I am with Mealy and General Soviet. Um, let's see here. Green Lips Penguin says, I didn't say that, but fair enough. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I skipped what you said before. I went to the next guy. Greg, uh, Gregisha. Militia, Grigisha, eh, not really. Name him Grinch. I'm leaving. Free speech is done, says MO. Bro. <laughs> you know, I hope that's a troll, because if it's a troll, it's pretty funny. What did I do? Free speech is over. I got banned for a minute on Undead Chronics live stream. My rights don't exist. Bro. <laughs> if you think <laughs> free speech has been dead for decades, man. Even longer. It's been dead since the 30s, the 20s. Probably the 20s. He's been dead for over 100 years, guys. Don't come in here and tell me about free speech. You're cock-teasing me with something I never had. Don't do it. Um, so until Red tells me what he wants for his video, I guess we'll just uh, do this live stream, right? Furry Griga is a good name. Chronic didn't ban you. Sot did. Why? Dog me, it's so over, lol. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But hey, Red Sky, bro. Um, just contact me, man, and let me know uh, what video you want to make, and I'll make it, all right? I will. Let's see. Ding, ding. On, be made. Okay. Are you? Oh, I thought this dog was like eating something. I'm about to puke on my bed, but he's just licking his. You know what? I'm not going to tell you what he's licking. Red, get your ass in here, says Jay. Chronic, call him Veneros. No, you, a good dog name is one syllable, guys. Like, it could be two, but you have to be able to shorten it. We're going to call him Ven. Ven. No, I mean, it's, no, V E N is not a good one. He used to have a strong one syllable. Name him Piccolo. Mm, I won't call him Pit. Maybe I'll call him Olo. Olo, Olo, get over here. Bitcoin was three hundred dollars when I got my first job. Now it's seven DK FML. Big Boss Barney says UCW's chat has fallen. Millions must toke. I'll toke right now. Stupid get generic name says if you sponsor a dog, call him Grog. Let me try. Grog. 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 Dog. Hey. What? Who's a good dog? Who killed a squirrel today? Yeah, he doesn't respond to Grog. I'd have to do it a bunch. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good boy. Name him Glorb. Oh, that's a good dog name. I'm waiting for that too, Broad. Uh, what did Broad say? I don't see it. Uh, Red Sky probably wants to get drunk with Warband and listen to UC talk shit. Am I right? That said that already, but may have missed. Yeah. Um, I'll go through. I'll find out what it is. Dog it is. That's what I'm saying. Let's get to this chick. But first, I got to chug this. Another cheers to Red Sky, who has funded the UCW show for at least another month. <laughs> at least another month. Cheers, Red, for your generous Super Chat donation. Cheers. Okay. I'm going to be drinking a shit ton during this video to make up for that donation. I want to get these, this beer done, this White Claw that's 70% done, this glass of mead done. Are you guys ready for an eye workout? Oh, you Griggers ready? <laughs> Get the mead ready, Griggers. Get the mead ready. Let's get this set up. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man.
we have this um, wonderful YouTube creator here today. Her name is Princess Candy, C-A-N-D-I. And if there is not a more fitting name for a white woman with an African nose and um, partial African, I won't say she has African lips because this could be an injection, but definitely a more African looking nose at least. Um, I can kind of tell at least when you get more than just a simple half crescent moon on the side of the nostrils. I don't know the name of the nostril parts or the, the nasal parts. So definitely um, maybe a fourth. I don't think she's half, but she's at least a fourth, I would presume, African-American. I would hope that these pairings end up with a strong father, maybe the African father, the African-American father, black father stays around. But white, white women don't really go for stable black men. They don't go for respectful black men most of the times. They go for the thug-maxed alpha simps. They go for Tyronius. Tyronius, Gigas, Schlongus, Maximus. That's what they go for. And lo and behold, Tyrone is not going to raise no kid. But this chick right here has a video titled, Watching Anime is Red Flag. Let's check something else out first. Okay. Here's her YouTube page. Right? I can't show this part of her YouTube page just by being on YouTube. But I'll read some of the video titles. Trying on hella bikinis. With a booty out in this picture. Like right over here, big old mystery mutt booty. I triggered some people. We broke up after nine days. Dating is not for weak people. I'm a sad e girl. Okay. She tried to see, she made her channel eight months ago. She says, I'm Jew, Jeruvian. I guess Peruvian Jew. Okay. I guess Jeruvian means you're a Peruvian Jew. I think that's what it means. I'm not educated on this experience. So, oh, there we go. My OnlyFans experience a bikini try-on haul. I'm an e-girl. Cyberbot. She tried singing, right? No. Being a woman on the internet. You know, it's so hard because you have OnlyFans and such. Taking the BDSM test. And we got this video watching Animated Red Flag. So we know what kind of woman this is. We know what kind of woman this is. Let's see why anime is Red Flag back with another car vlog which i know some of y'all don't like because y'all don't like that i'm recording and driving at the same time but honestly i'm i'm not really like it's the same as if i'm looking at my gps like y'all need to chill because you were all on i don't see any comments on horse meat saying that you know he's like being like not safe and stuff like you know what's not safe i'll tell you what isn't safe Making yourself a sex object on the internet and then driving around where you live. That's not safe. Do you know the, the fervor that horny simps will go to in order to find you? You have any idea? You don't. Be careful, chick. You got to be careful. Because a simple triangulate this position of this house over here, and it's Jover. Like, all of his comments are like, oh, yeah, basement, like, you know, like, oh, that shit. And then on mine, I think, because I'm a freaking woman, like, y'all are like, oh, like, be careful. Like, you make me nervous. Women are bad drivers. Whatever. Um, so, anyway, I just wanted to come on here just to talk about, um, since i aired out all my like my dating business from before which by the way i wanted to say so after a little bit of reflection like nine days is definitely not a relationship longer than most men who will be with you nine days is definitely not a relationship i don't know what the fuck that was um pump and dump it was a pump and dump and also look look at this Oh, man. Oh, man. What the hell is going on with your... I guess that would be what? I don't know how to name teeth. If it's from the middle, it's your third tooth. But yikes, those canines on the bottom. They look like they're surfing. What's your canine doing? It's like the dog jumped the fence and is chasing cars. I don't even know where this tooth is facing. Is it facing straight lateral? 
is it like at an angle but still facing anteriorly or is it just is there not a tooth there this one is eh, it could use some work but this one good lord hey i just doxed myself under chronic is a dent no that just no orthodontist chronic is an orthodontist and i'm just rubbing my hands together thinking of all the money it would take to fix this disaster if i'm being honest like four days after um we big boss says she needs braces she's had braces you can tell she's had braces before they kind of align some of these teeth but this one's now i'm looking this one's poking backwards he's at an angle at least 15 degrees tilted back maybe she really needed the retainer or like she couldn't afford the braces or she's like mom it hurts my teeth look good now i don't know what it is but she needs to see the orthodontist yeah uh we're in a relationship i'm not even alive I had a threesome with um, my lesbian friends. Fuck it. Um. <laughs> Wait, what? Why? Why are you talking about this? You're talking about watching anime is a red flag, but you get you get t tag teamed by lesbian chicks. Oh, guys, want to hear a joke? Want to hear a lesbian joke? What do lesbian chicks and sea turtles have in common? Huh? What do lesbian chicks and sea turtles have in common? Choking on plastic. <laughs> oh, I love that joke. That's not mine, though. I read that somewhere else. <laughs> That's good. Let's continue. Um, some of my friends were like, oh, yeah, that's base as fuck. Like, you know, um, and it wasn't. It wasn't just like I like randomly. I vernacular slang gets invented on 4chan pull politically incorrect it gets invented there and then it spreads this chick is she just said having a three-way with my this only fans girl this only fans girl the sex worker who posts bikini try on videos on youtube just said having a three-way with her two lesbian friends was based do you think the first 10 million men, mostly men, the first 10 million people who use that term on 4chan would agree with that assessment? No. Here's what happens. Crazy mofos, schizos probably, invent slang on 4chan. The people who are on 4chan, politically incorrect board specifically, then take that slang and move it over to other places youtube reddit whatever usually they're correct usually their insults hurt and all the normies who happen to see or these right-wing people see it and then the normies use it that's why you have single mothers on timcast irl lauren southern calling joe biden based lauren southern calls joe biden based lauren southern goes oh it's based oh so based I wish I could defend language like I could defend a city wall, but I can't. But we literally have hookers out here saying three ways with lesbians are base. I'm just saying the word doesn't mean anything anymore. It just means good. It used to mean something else, but now it just means good. Um, like I randomly like decided to have a, a lesbian threesome with them. Um, we had already been like, you know, talking about it, you know, and I had known them longer than I know the dude who... I ended up having a nine day relationship with anyway, what, or whatever the fuck that was. I don't think that was a relationship because, because I I told him, hey, like, I, I think I'm getting feelings for you. So I don't think this is gonna work out because you don't respond to me barely for three days. So this chick thinks she's a 10 out of 10. There's a lot of simps trying to get in her pants. And the dude that ignores her is the one that can have her whenever he wants. If he texted her during this video, she'd turn off the camera and drive to his house and get pipe fitted. Um, and then he was like, oh, uh, you're catching feelings. So I think that means we need to add things. So I don't think that was a relationship. Did I cheat on him because I had a lesbian relationship? I don't know. You guys should let me know. Not a lesbian relationship. I had a lesbian threesome. Did I cheat on him? I don't think anybody cares. 
I think any man of merit looks at you and knows you are incapable of a monogamous relationship, you you cannot be loyal. It's impossible. Asking a woman like this to be loyal is like asking a penguin to go dive in a volcano and retrieve your wedding ring that you threw in there. Impossible. You c it can't do it. Does that count? Because I had a lesbian threesome. You yeah, should let me know. Because, um, I don't know. I'm on the fence. And I, I talked to some of my... This chick is recording a video and doing makeup while she's driving what? Like, my guy friend. 30 miles? 30 miles on the road? So let me, let me explain some physics for you. <sighs> Vectors. What's a vector? Speed and direction, right? Speed and direction. If you drive 30 miles into a wall, it's probably going to mess you up a little bit, right? Yeah. 30 miles into a wall is going to mess you up. Now, if you're on a two-lane road and the speed limit's 30, but you're speeding at 40, and most people are speeding at 40, and two cars are going 40 in opposite directions, and they hit each other face on, is that like hitting a wall at 40 miles an hour? No, it's not. If you are going 40 miles an hour and you drive into someone going 40 miles an hour, it's like hitting into the wall at 80 miles an hour. That's why when drunk drivers are going 30 miles, I mean speeding, they hit someone else going 30 miles, it's like both cars hit a wall going 60. Which is like another thing, like a lot of dudes are telling me that like I know I know how to hang with like guys. I think it's because I'm a streamer and like It's because you're a salute. It's because you take penis. It's because you're a sex worker. Any woman can hang with guys. I have dated some of the most autismo introverted chicks you would never believe. And they all tell me, most of my friends are guys. Most of my friends are guys. Why why? Because dudes will Guys will go out of the way, ignore awkwardness to continue and carry a conversation with an awkward chick because that she still as awkward as it is, ok et awkward puniti feels just as good as puniti. Okay. Because I've always been into like gaming and stuff like that, and just like. Oh, we got a gamer. <laughs> Guys, she's a gamer. She's a hardcore gamer. She knows more about games than you. You know, you, know, you got to respect her opinion on the gaming scene because she's always been a gamer. Um, which is like another thing someone said in, in the other video. They're like, don't knock the nerds. I'm like, listen, I'm not knocking the nerds. I'm knocking. I'm knocking. I'm knocking dudes who watch more than three animes. And it can't be that, like, that, like, that new anime that's, like, directed, like, I don't know, because it's, it is, um, it is targeted towards high schoolers, you know, there's some, there's some cool animes, like Avatar, that's an American one, but I like Avatar is not an anime. She's such a gamer. She's so nerdy. Hashtag, I'm not like other girls. And she just called Avatar, The Last Airbender, an anime? Oh, my. That one. That's a good one. Like, I'll watch that one, you know? Or, like, Hayao Miyazaki movies are fire. But honestly, like, yeah, now I can see that as a red flag. Like, if you're a dude and you watch a lot of anime, like, yeah. I can see that. You know? Anime is dangerous. I actually got, I got banned from Twitter for a week for tweeting this. I said, anime is dangerous to young men because it gives them the fantasy of a woman who truly loves them. And that doesn't exist today. Get it, right? You watch anime, you see this romance, you see this hot anime girl. She doesn't cheat. She's loyal. She's useful. She's actually useful. And you think you can get that in real life. <laughs> and so you try to make that relationship with a Western woman 
mm-hmm. and it doesn't fucking work. In fact, it's worse than it doesn't work. It's dangerous to your wallet, your health, and your spirit, your soul. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to talk about red flags. So, <laughs> red flags in dating. Um, watches more than three animes as a man. Nah, I'm just, I'm kidding, but I'm not. I'm kidding, but I'm not. I'm telling you guys, if all you do is watch anime all day, you can still bang a chick like this because she's the only reason she's saying anime is bad is because anime Chad pumped and dumped her. Fedora wearing, 400 pound, anime Chad pumped and dumped her. And now watching anime is a red flag. <laughs> another one, <clears throat> another one is, and this happened to me like, I'll just tell you guys what happened. So, two, two summers ago now? No, a summer ago. Um, I went on a date with this guy, right? He invited me out. I don't care about your life. I'm sorry. Anime is based. You don't know what based means, and I can't handle this anymore. Go to an orthodontist. Go to a ear, nose, and throat doctor. You want to make sure these don't get clogged. It's a bitch. It's been Underchronic, guys. If you want to support the show, consider donating to Cash App. Cash Shine Underchronic. That's Cash App. Cash Shine Underchronic. Oh, this bitch. Okay, I got fifteen minutes. I make ten minutes for Chaz. Ten to fifteen minutes for Chaz. Let me get Chaz on for 10 to 15 minutes. I was only supposed to go for an hour, but I'm gonna make it like an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes, mostly because um. The Griga himself, Red Sky, just throw me three hundo for no reason whatsoever. The goddamn madman. And uh, we'll see here. If you want on for like 15 minutes, I'm streaming for the 15 minutes, bro. Here you go. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Here we go. Here you guys go. I'm just going to put it in the chat. Yeet, Chaz, get in the stream yard. You know what's up. You know what's good. We got one on here. YouTube notification. I still need to chug a shit ton more alcohol. There we go. And 20 with B made. Here we go. What's up, Chaz? How you doing, man? I saw your comment on that video. Did you make a response <laughs> to that bitch? Wait, I, I, I posted a comment on a video? What? I could have sworn I saw you on her comment section or something about like I I know for a fact that you interacted with that video and that's how I found it. I probably just quote for you as saying like she's dumb as hell or something like that. Hey, that's all it takes, man. That's all it takes. I get unbanned from Twitter in two days. I love how she is allowed. She allows herself to watch quote anime like avatar like, <laughs> first of all like wow dude, you don't know mm. so, okay so she can watch as much anime as she wants and it's cool right but when a guy watches anime oh you know that's a problem okay so when she says the number three like three anime is that three anime in his entire lifetime because if you've watched dragon ball naruto read some bleach during high school oh like 15 years ago oh not now it's a red flag right bro i only watch i only watch like I was gonna say based anime, but I wouldn't consider cyberpunk to be based. It's just a good anime. Can't really call it based. Um, Berserk is definitely a based anime. Yeah. Um, Helsing, the OG one from the '90s, was a based anime. I mean, if you watch something like Baki the Grappler, oh, that's oh, based. no, it, dude, dude, Baki. Yeah, is, yeah okay. Any and dude, I can't watch. Do you know why I can't watch Baki? Because it makes you want to just stop watching and go to the gym. Because I watch five minutes of it and I'm like, I need to bench for like two hours straight, and I'll just pause it and go bench two hours straight. Like she's right, anime is dangerous because it can make men think, "Damn, I need to make myself better." And when a guy starts thinking that he needs to be better, his standards might rise, right? And well, it's like they guys think they need her. to be better for the hope of getting a girl, like the ones they saw from the anime. But a lot of the anime love interests are like loyal, pleasant, useful, and consistent and sweet. And um, women aren't that today. Like you'll th- you'll see a woman, she'll act loyal, she'll act sweet, 
She'll act useful, but that's an act to get you hooked, to make you fall in love. Because once you fall in love, all that shit can change. But you'll remember how she acted at the start of the relationship. You'll remember how you see her. And it will take years of abuse before you're like, wait a second. And that's just, that's for like initial relationships. But you get to the point, bro, Chas, I'm telling the truth. Men hit a wall too. The wall is different. I hit the wall. I hit the wall. I can't love women anymore. I can't. I cannot. I can't get those special feelings. I just can't. And so this whole lovey-dovey anime style relationship, I'm never going to have that because I cannot experience that anymore. Yeah. And that's a shame. That's a shame for any woman that wants this green schlong. Okay, wait. I was writing rap lyrics today for um, for some of the warband beats. You know, like the March of the Green Skins one? It's like dun 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 that one. Yeah. Bro, I was writing the funniest shit. It was like, I got bitches on my yacht. I got bitches in my condo. I got bitches giving me tacos out in Fresno. It's just the dumbest shit. Oh man. Uh what we got here. They net you, then the sex stops. You have a heart. Pretty sure Under Chronic came up with the emotional wall. True concept. Yeah. No, I look any kind of dangerous theorizing any kind of point you make that people could be like oh that's some simp shit and and turn against you any kind of new idea you won't see the grifters make new ideas the grifters steal ideas from other men who make new ideas and when those new ideas are accepted and lauded then the grifter steals it and claims it as their own yeah i've never tried to claim that I had some kind of huge revelation or some genius new concept. No, you have but you have micro ones, right? Like oh, my channel. I mean, well, well, I'm it's saying a like grower, your channel, man. it's a grower. Well, I'm saying okay? yeah, I'm saying your channel, <laughs> your. Ch- <sighs> <laughs> you know, there's like um, there was like some accident. I just saw pictures of it. Some truck, like some fourteen wheeler, turned over, and it was filled with dildos. And they, like, for some reason, they exploded because you know people that work in dildo factories don't seal the boxes up good. And so I just remember, um, I just remember seeing, uh, God, what was it? I remember seeing pictures of like this, like fat sheriff, like this fat, like a uh, state patrol highwayman with this like really big fat like like big wide hat on standing in the middle of the, of the road and there's all these cars backed up and he has his hands on his hips he's just looking down and there's like thousands of giant pink dildos all over the road <laughs> that must have been a sight to see man oh man i'd love to interview that guy bro i'd love to interview that guy that's fucking hilarious okay what we got here um Pretty sure Under Chronic came up with the emotional wall concept. Yep, talk about a serious bait and switch. So somehow we're the faulty ones. Chronic is the first guy I heard say that. Yeah, Fresh and Fit, they weren't they they were completely fine with marrying a porn star until they saw me get flowers, my proverbial flowers, for saying no hymen, no diamond. And now those hoes are saying it. Can't even surprised? credit you in the description. What's this other one doing here? I put one dog on the bed and the other one comes up wagging its tail. Okay, you want to go up? Okay, here. Go in here. Okay, here we go. Just let Fido crash on the bed, bro. Come here, come here, come here. I got you. Oh, don't freak out. Don't freak out. Wig out. Wig out. Do it. Good boy. Yeah, I'll take a picture to send to you. Good dog. Look at this. They're so... Bro, these dogs... Dude, these dogs are like little shits. Like, they're so smart, but they use their powers for evil. I took one a walk today, and it's like a mile and a half to the next house, and usually they poop within the first mile. No? no. Please tell me, like, they waited. Dude, like, they, they... I, I like turned around because one of them's not leash, the other one's leash because I don't trust the other one. I turn around and this one is laying a massive shit on this guy's newspaper. I'm like, ah! <laughs> so, like, bro, he planned it. It was calculated. They know, dude. They fucking know. Anyhow. Yeah, but now they're laying down on the bed hanging out. So it's, it's all fine. Yeah. It's all fine. But, dude, yeah, sure. uh, fucking Red Sky came in here and threw me 300 bucks and didn't even tell me what kind of video he wants to make. I'm like, Tell me, 
tell me what you want me to make, bro, but it's okay. He's probably just like, just keep doing you under chronic. So I'm going to make a, a scheduled actual putting effort into the video video sometime this week. I promise you guys that we will, we will go ahead and do that. Um, I myself, uh, I finally got off my lazy ass and I've been working on, you know, a, a segment for a video. So man, it feels really good. Wait a second. Did Fine. He... Here we go. Oh, what the fuck is that noise? You sent me a, is it my phone vibrating? Probably. I don't know. It sounds like static. Maybe, maybe the voices in my head are starting to get a bit, you know, more powerful. They're upset that, um, I got a, I got a Gmail. Let's see how, he sent me a story. So we'll see how long it is. Maybe I'll just read it before the stream ends here. Is Otto still alive as someone in chat? No, I'm afraid. Wait a second. Otto Wait a passed. second. Right. Dude. This motherfucker made an undead chronic figurine. Bro. Holy shit. This thing looks amazing. It's green skin. He has a sword instead of a hand on his right arm. He's jacked. The story I'm begins sure... with one warrior, a green skinned Griga. I mean, that's like saying it's a hot sun, but okay. As time passed, the world grew weary of his might, so they came, the simps. Oh, he's got a simp army? Oh, wait a second. You know what? The roaches. Oh, we got Tyranids? And the cucks. Oh, we got the cucks. They came wave after wave as the warrior battled against the tyranny and lies, but soon he found himself surrounded. He bellowed his battle cry, and soon others joined him. He got more Griggas? Oh shit, this is hype. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, this is, I'm invested in this. Together they fought wave after wave of them until they stood alone, perhaps heroes. Wait a second. Did this motherfucker. This, are these custom? He's got a green skinned frog figurine. Is there a frog in 40k? Oh, you're talking about 40k. Dude, uh, this guy's I, got I a frog. I mean, he's hey, got a Yetus. He has Hammer now. Hand. He has Grey yeah. Ghost. Holy shit. Does he have a Kaiden Chaz? But their tale is not yet over, for their enemies are legion. His friends left to continue their fights elsewhere. So in the end, there's one war baron, one warrior. But which one will he choose, though? Holy shit. Okay, I gotta... Dude, yeah, chats, whoa, chats whoa, 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 I gotta, I gotta post the Ribby one, bro. This is fucking legit. He yeah, has Ribby with his tongue flying out, grabbing a fucking beer. I gotta say, I gotta, I gotta show you guys this shit. This is so fucking cool. This is so fucking cool, bro. Wait, wait imagine wait. if he just had a hair across Pokemon just there as well, right? Dude, look, look at that this. That would be hilarious. He okay. even has the top of red hair, bro. Oh, look at this shit. Okay, I put it up. I put it up. Oh okay, I'm looking God. at the stream. This is legit. The gray ghost. He's like floating in ethereal and hammerhand, the MGTOW monk. Oh, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> And to the other world members, my special thanks, especially Kite and Chaz, Manic and Hamster, Aww. who I'm still looking for to add to this collection. Bro, just buy buy a fucking Heracross, dude, man. Look at Yo! This. Look at dude, That's look sick. at this shit. This is so dude, this is the coolest shit I've ever seen about the Warband stuff. This is like, amazing. Did he I wonder, did he paint that? Was it 3D printed or Okay, let's is see. That... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me let me read his words he has. He says, Yeah, yeah. Wait, let me First, we gotta do a cheers. Are you drinking tonight? Uh, no. Pussy. Okay, I'm sorry. That's just uh, it's it's no, a it's reflex. Fine. It's a reflex of my fraternity days. That's all. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Like, I can walk up to like a grandma in church, and be like, "Hey, yo, you drinking?" She's just like, "No, I don't think I'm gonna have alcohol tonight." And be like, "Fucking pussy, <laughs> fucking bitch, <laughs> in stupid front bitch, of the pastor." Bitch. It's a reflex. Okay, let me chug this beer, hit the mead, and then finish with this white cloth. Space Marine Chaz. So Warhammer 40k is one of those things that I know exists, but I've never really felt the need to get into it. And but part of that is also because like the money aspect of it, having to buy the figures and stuff. But part of me is is also worried about the 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 possibility that I could get hooked on it, right? Oh. And I just like I'm kind of scared, right? I have no, I have enough shit going on. The last thing I need is to get hyper invested into something like 40k. Dude, the um, the real 40k like super guy, super nerds. Which I'm not sure if this guy designed them. I mean, good chance he did, because like, I mean, well, he's gonna ask someone to design a ribby. Um, they like will do a 3D scan of the units they like the most. They'll buy one, scan it, return it the next day, or whatever it is, 
and then they'll just buy their own 3D printers and print their own. I right? think that's one. Of the, I think that's sick. That's probably yeah, dude. But like, I've had other guys come to me and say, "I really want to design a tabletop game for the warband." I said, "Go ahead," but like. I've lost so many emails and so many channels it's been in the past, but I would love to do at least like the story and some gameplay design. I haven't played that many tabletop games like this, but I play a lot of video games that are basically tabletop games, but just simulated. I would love to like write a campaign for like, you know, <laughs> it's like preset scenarios and like story parts for this kind of stuff. This is fucking amazing. And I skip through like, a bunch of other images i just think this one looks like this this kind of this is the best one to show you guys how dedicated this guy is let me read his words um wait i gotta get more alcohol let me go get more alcohol real quick Chaz, can you read the chat yeah. while i go get the other boost yeah yeah okay let's see oh you'll get hooked Chaz. look at the lore before you play no i'm not i'm not a lore guy i'll just grab the figures think they're cool and then just play and if someone tries to talk to me about lore i'll be like damn that's insane like every single thing he would say damn that's insane 40k orcs are definitely grigas damn that's insane no the tongue is part of the model the bottle isn't okay that makes sense Let's see. You should encourage it and check to see if they did it. That's good advertising the war band. Man, part of me is like, I would love to make a fighting game, like a war band fighting game. I played enough to understand what people, what I like and what I don't like in fighting games, right? But I don't know shit. So, damn Daniel, bro, big boy, you're coming at. Coming at us with them 10 year old memes, dude. Holy shit. Okay. Let me read his message to us. Yeah, go ahead. Under Chronic. One last thing. Your words have mattered. This humble, battered, and beaten warrior still suffers the red rage. And to make matters worse, I've been close to going black pill far too often. Hmm. Let me just this out of time. Like, yeah, it's. It's hard to maintain a demeanor of calm and rationality when you see the most, like, you just see your money being spent on people that hate you, on women that don't view you as human. But you got to, me, me and Mac talked about this. Mac was saying I have no emotions. Um, he says he had no emotions. You have to channel your emotions for useful things, right? So if yeah. you get angry about seeing some stupid news story or shit, Use that anger at the gym. Use that anger at work. Like, dedicate it. And if you have leftover anger, what I do is I kind of sit down and think. and go, you know, this is a corrupt, demonic, satanic system. But, 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 but. We live in an age of time where I can meet my best friend during a genetics internship. And we can maintain our friendship thousands of miles away from each other. By playing war simulation games on the computer. Video games. And as bad as all that other stuff is. Compared to back in the day where your village would get slaughtered. Your best one would get killed. There's no recompense. You're just sweating your ass all the time. We have to at least take the benefits of living in the era of decadence. This height of the empire. And be like all things considered. Me, my family, my friends, that's what matters. And all these tools and tech makes me closer to them. That's what. That's how I see it. What do you think, Jess? I'm sorry. I was zoning. I zoned that's out fine. for a sec. He says, I'm close to going black pill far too often. I'm not sure if black pill means just like it's Jover or like doing an action. But you ever feel like you need to talk to someone, bro? Just hit me up on Discord. I'll see it. He says, regardless... He is whether I'm an incel or not, it, I guess, a matter of opinion, as I don't even try anymore. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Let's go into business. Let's sell some action figures. And then I'll take you on a vacation to Thailand, and I will get video evidence that you're not an incel. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. He says, regardless, your voice does matter, and I hope you continue to broadcast. Well, you know what? Once I start my intense fucking job, it's going to go down to once a week, once every two weeks. But I think I will continue. By the time I start that job, I'll be on a medium that won't just delete my channel, whether it's Rumble, Locals, or whatever. 
but I'll continue to give my opinions on the things. It's kind of a, it's like a pressure release valve for me, you know. Yeah. But I just stopped that everything. I just had these thoughts inside. I think I'd go crazy. He says, if you found this small story entertaining, please share pics to the other Warbit members, and I'll be donating to your show from time to time. I will have a larger donation going away, and only ask if you deem it necessary to give some to the Warband as well. What I think what I'll do, bro, is I'll commit. Here's what here's the what here's what I'll do, bro. If you send another stupid large donation and you want it to go to Chaz or Gitas or Manic, whoever, um, write me a scene and I will get art made of it. Because if I gave Chaz a new art of like Titan Chaz in metal armor slicing a demon pig in half, would that be like beneficial for you, Chaz? I mean, I would like it. Would you use it a lot? Yeah. Yeah. I'd and you won't have to commission it. I feel like commissioning art is the best way I get. And for most Warband members, I think I paid. For, I, think, I think all of them so far, I'd have to double check. I paid for their first avatar. Because like the branding is um, like the branding of the channel. I think that's what made me so unique in the beginning in the MGTOW Red Pill space. Because I wasn't like. MGTOW this or Red Pill this. I was like, oh, I'm Undead Chronic with this fucking green zombie. And people remember that. So when I lost my channels, they found me again. And so making art. Just tell me, man. Be like, hey, when you send me a shit ton of money, say, I want this to go to some Warband members. I'd be like, do you want me to make new art for original Warband members? Or do you want me to like make new art for a new Warband member? Just, you got my email. So just let me know, man. Whatever, whatever you think would be the best way for you to be pleased with your donation. I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. He says, P.S. I would love for this collection to end up in your hands, but I know you wish to hide your ID. You fully understand. Let me know if there's a way for me to send them to you, though. You know what, dude? Like, you know what be a good idea, Chaz? What if I got these pieces, right? I, like, posed them with some blunts, and each one got, like, a short note from me? I can even ask a bitch to write it for me. So, like, you can't try the handwriting. And then we auctioned what? them off. And then we auctioned them off. And with the proceeds, actually, I wouldn't even just say auction them off. I would just have um, Red Sky like get the get the money. And with all that money, you can buy and make like a thousand of each. You get my drift chat. Like if you if if you like making figurines, doing forty k. If I auctioned off these pieces with like a handwritten note, I'm not sure how high they'd go, but I would assume at least like close to a hundred for each. So I'm not sure how much like four or five hundred dollars go for materials for the figurines or if you're printing these, but five hundred bucks, you could buy a 3D printer and enough materials and a scanner to at least scan one a hundred times, two hundred times. Just let me know what you want, man. Because uh I'm I'm very honored you wrote me this note and first you send me three hundred bucks, and then you send me pictures of these fucking grigas in combat position. This is fucking amazing, bro. This is amazing. What did Solar Wolf say? Someone said he had a good idea. Now I want Devin to talk to Chronic or Hammerhand. That would be legend. Who's Devin? Wait, you don't know Devin? Bro, it, it, it's Devin. You know, the Devin? No idea. No well, idea. I mean, like, Dev, Devin talks about things, man. Like, come on, it's Devin. Broad Black says, what Devin are your thoughts Sack. on P.O. Boxes? I have P.O. Boxes, but um, I would just work with Red Sky. And like, you know, maybe it would just be like we get a P.O. box and then he sends me the stuff. I pose with the pictures and some blunts and I write the notes and I send them all the materials back or I just ship them from a, a P.O. box in Oregon. Be like, I docks under chronic. Can you imagine Tifa? I docks under chronic. Where is he? He's in downtown Portland. <laughs> My dick hole, I'm in Portland, bro. <laughs> They're like marching around, burning down Portland. Where is that chronic? <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. Okay. Uh, what else we got here? Let me keep reading. He says, I know you sometimes, possibly joking, or looking for Warband members. I'd be honored if you would consider me. Um, bro, we'll, we'll talk offline. How about that? We'll talk, we'll talk outside of the show, and we'll see what kind of content you want to do. Because, dude, sometimes people are like, I really want to help out. But I don't – I'm like I'm not trying to do a YouTube channel. Like if you write a scenario or you write like game rules for like a warband quote-unquote board game, whatever, I feel like that would be as valuable to me than you talking about loose thoughts for like 15 minutes a video five times a yeah. day, you know? Like but, there, hey, there's only so – like there's only so much 
an individual can talk about. Like, for me, the reason why I don't make Reddit readings or stuff like that, any like I you I started my channel off reading things off Reddit, but it was the most bland, blended in with everything else kind of shit, right? So it it is very hard to think what can set me apart, right? So I get I get the feeling that a lot like some people even ask me, Chaz, like how should I start streaming? You know, I want to make warband content. I'm like, you can start doing whatever you want to do, but there's no guarantee that it'll pop off. There's no guarantee that it'll be good. You just have right? to like, so, like, what I tell people is you just have to enjoy making the content. Cause like, if you just, I can get people maybe a thousand, 2000 subs by the shills. And let's say like, you're not that good of a content creator, but you really enjoy it. Bro, I'd love to have someone who likes to talk about this stuff just be available to come on my show at any time. And they, let's say they, they never get bigger than 3,000 subs. I don't fucking care, bro. <laughs> I don't care like, about that it, shit. Like this guy, imagine if he just did the occasional live stream, just camera on, like pointing to the table, and him just painting these figurines, right? For like an hour. Bro, I'd use that footage in the background of my videos. Yeah. Yeah, like, no, for sure. I, I I get the feeling that if he just turned on the camera and made sure he didn't show his face and yeah. just yeah. was 3D printing some stuff and just talking about the ideas and projects he's had. Dude, even just a video of 3D printing a chronic figurine would be amazing. <laughs> I would yeah. just use that in front of the background. He says, P-S- PSSS. I'm not a great P-S-S-S. warrior. P-S-S-S. Yeah, so postscript, script, 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 yeah. script, yeah. script. I'm not yeah. a great warrior, but if you ever start that kingdom, I do have some training that might be useful for such a venture, plus my own sword and shield. I, You know what? Oh, uh, Warhammer 40k, dude, because I'm kind of assuming that he is a loveless figure, because I think I recognize um, Tyranids. Um, I'm not surprised you guys have swords and shields. You guys are the kind of people that would get swords and shields. I mean, I I got my anime swords and shit, so, you know, I'm prepared to. He says, I would love to see such a place come to be and would donate to a cause as well. Well, here's what I was thinking, like, large scheme thing, is I'm going to buy the land. I'm going to run the internet, probably fiber. I'm going to get some fiber fiber out there. Cables, Yeah. yeah. Fiber, water electricity and i'll probably have like i don't know the job is kind of ebbs and flows with oh you got a lot of um you know you got a lot of x you got a lot of y but i would sell lots of the land i own kind of like next to me to beside me that kind of stuff and it'll be like a water set up a internet set up and that set up and i would just say hey if you buy the land and you want to start living here if you have a job you can make money online or you can work in the town of sixty thousand eighty thousand it's not like a huge tech industry, but like, hey, if you got skills like trucker, welder, like trade skills, I'll sell you that plot of land. And then um, you can rent, quote unquote, for free. I'm going to set up like five cabins because cabins are cheap to set up. Like, yeah, you're probably going to use either a community bathroom or an outhouse, but you're going to have a fireplace in your cabin. So you can keep yourself hot during the, you know, during the the winter i probably put in the window ac unit whatever and you can just what you can do is you can pay me back once you build your house and you're financially set the cost the derivative cost whatever it would have been to run the the fiber the water and the power lines out to your property because then it'd be like hey i basically did a loan to get more warband members right next to me and you know for sure we're gonna build a giant fucking gazebo and barbecue buffalo all day so there's that too. He says, I would love to see such a place come to be and would donate to such a cause as well. Well, hey, it's just the people. Really, it's not even about like rules or a property or whatever. It's just like minded individuals living near each other. And we get enough Grigas out there, we could form our own township. And our first, <laughs> I'll be mayor. And during my mayoral speech, we'll have like very pro, like we'll have like invite all these journalists and all this shit. I will like ban, like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to. Can you imagine? Uh, first ordinance, I'm banning women in this town. And it was like, oh, and I'm like, with the exception, and I just list off everybody's wives and girlfriends. People <laughs> like so pissed off. Anyhow, sounds like yeah, dude. Um, here, let's. I'm gonna email him back. Let's talk tomorrow when you have time. Cool. Yeah, um, Red Sky, uh, big, big, uh, big.
big fucking donation. Thank you very much. That's crazy, man. Sounds lit. What state? Um, you know what we'll do? <laughs> if you want to buy in, you like uh, send the money or like send like 10%, whatever it is. And like, I'll meet you at this location. How do I know it's you? Oh, you'll know it's me. And like the people will like be at a park bench with like a couple suitcases and a green van will pull up and the doors will open and you just smell, you just see marijuana smoke billowing out of the car and you get black bagged and put in. But like after you get in the car, the bag comes off, but you still can't see shit because it's so smoky and you see a green hand hand you a bong. (laughs) Like, smoke this shit quickly. <laughs> Come on, we gotta go. And then you just like hear sirens in the back going off, right? It's like shit. You're like, they got another Gregor. Stop them. <laughs> That'd be unstoppable at this rate. Nah, that's funny. Yeah, I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you uh, tomorrow, uh, Sky. Uh, lots to talk about. But let's get back to the OG top of the video. Do you have anything else you want to say about that chick, bro? Eh, I mean, not really. She's just pa- a passed around thought. You know, she thinks she's. Not like other girls, but it turns out that they're far more alike than they think, right? So, best case scenario, just smash and dash or even just stay entirely away from them, you know? So I've never seen a chick, like, I'm not really attracted to chicks that look like that, at least. So, I never had to deal with their bullshit because I just look at them and I'm like, I know they're a problem, you know? Yeah. So, you know, I got to stop the stream because I told B-Made I'd be gaming with yeah, you tonight. Good. But good. We'll, we'll do – we'll schedule a stream for tomorrow. I'll schedule it ahead of time. Dude, I scheduled the stream like 20 minutes ahead. <laughs> it's just like, fuck it. Let's just do it. But I got some good segments. So, Chaz, what do you want to say to the uh, to the fans before we end the stream? Uh, I am currently working on my big Krillin video. I finally got off my ass working Ooh. on it. I'm cooking up something really awesome. Right. So I I can't say it's going to be done tomorrow. Can't really say soon, but mm. I, I'm telling you it's going to get done soon. So keep an eye out for it. Thank you. Oh, and dope. you have well, a good rest of your just night. Le- just let me know, man, because I'll show the, the shit out of that once it's done. You sure? It's, I mean, it's just some stupid anime shit. Didn't I show the last stupid anime shit you did and it got like 40K views in two days? Uh, uh, I think that was my Bulma video. Probably. Yeah, dude, you got a fuck ton of yeah. views on it. I'll show them the hell out of that bitch. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, hey, we'll, we'll talk later, man. You have a good cool. one. Hey, peace, man. Peace. You see those dogs just acting crazy in the background? Then there was one. One warrior, one warband. If you want to support the show, consider donating to cashapp.cashshine under chronic. That's cash under chronic. It's been under chronic, guys. I'm getting really fucking drunk right after I end this. Take it easy.
Hi, I'm David Mark. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, before we go. Before we go, let's do a raid. Before we go, let's do a raid. Come on now. We got Hunter Avalone. Hunter is scared of undead chronic. Everybody, everybody, join in the fun. Come on now. Come on now. Don't donate. Don't you fucking donate. Instead, you need to go here. Come on. Let's go. Raid this bitch. Raid him. Raid him. Come on. I'm going to play some songs while we raid him. Here we go. Hunter Avalone is scared of undead chronic. Get that hoe, guys. Get him. Get him. His wife bangs camels. <laughs> you got to let him know. <laughs> you got to let him know he's scared of me. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you got to do it for Undead Chronic. Go to his channel. Go to his live stream. We got to raid this motherfucker. I got to choose a good song. I'll play like, you know what? I'll play two more songs during the raid. And if there's funny shit, I will uh, respond to it. But uh, let's play. Let's start with uh, another Brothers of Metal. Here we go. Let's see this. Hunter is scared of Undead Chronic. Hunter scared of the Warband. Hunter scared of Undead Chronic. <laughs> Your wife bangs camels, bro. You are scared of me. You are scared of Undead Chronic. <laughs> okay, bros. I'm gonna just play two more songs and we're not gonna be done with the stream, but raid this guy, trigger him, and if he freaks out, I'll cover it tomorrow. And if he invites you to debate, I'll schedule ahead of time. Peace, bros.
Hey, uh, just a quick message to the Hunter Avalon simps. I can't debate your little beta boy tonight. I gotta go talk to women that don't organize BBC gangbangs. I'm gonna go talk to women that aren't willing to bang camels. Now I know your little King Hunter, his trad life, you know, his little trad wife got run through by a bunch of black dudes and wants to sexually assault a camel, but there's women out there that don't do that. It's just you and Hunter don't have the pectoral muscles to attract them. But I'm going to go fuck some of them bitches. So, see the cope, you know, go go say you won. I'll hit up Hunter tomorrow, and I'll get him on Discord, and he'll get scared like a little bitch boy he is. And then I'll post it on the community tab, and you guys can watch your hero go back, bend over, and hope and pray that some of the camel zinc leaks out of his wife and gets him pregnant. Bye.